So, first of all, take your webbing. Notice the boat is not on the car yet. It doesn't have to not be on the car yet, but what I like to do first is find about the midpoint of the webbing and have it on the bar. And then I like to have the strap is kind of lying here. You kind of want to keep track of what's coming off the top and what's coming off the bottom. Also, these straps are metal. You want to make sure you're not chipping your paint or cracking a window when you put these on. Okay, so that's the front bar. And then I've already got one set on the back bar in the same way, just right in the middle. And we're going to load the boat on that side. So that's what's next. Oh, I thought that you turned it on. Now it's going. Okay, God. So, <laughs> after some technical difficulties. Okay, so we went ahead and fast forwarded through time to where I already loaded this boat. I'm sorry, this board on the car. So now the problem is, is that the straps are over there and I want to tie them down over here. So, especially in minivans, it's pretty hard to get a hold of the straps. So I climb up in here, and I want to make sure I grab the strap first that is coming off the top of the bar, okay? I'm gonna whip this around, and I'm gonna put it on this side of the bar. Then I'm gonna grab the other one. I'm gonna make sure it's on this side of the bar. I'm gonna close the door because that Annoying beeping sound if your keys in the ignition keeps happening. Then normally what I do is I put two or three twists in the webbing. The critics are still out on this, but sometimes if you don't put a twist in it, when you're driving down the highway, it makes this horrible vibrating sound that makes it sound like a jetliner is landing on your car. And sometimes if you do put it in, it still happens, so it's, it's a crapshoot. Anyway, so I like to set the cam strap up here along the edge of the rail, and then I take the long end and I wrap it around just once. Then, making sure that there's no wrinkles in here, okay, I'm gonna feed this end through the cam strap. Then, so everything's flat now. You can kind of work that around. And then basically, I'm just gonna work that down until it's nice and tight, okay? And then what I like to do is make sure you have, make sure you set your board so there's enough bar here to wrap this around. But uh, this is a 12 foot strap, a 12 foot NRS strap. And what I do is I wrap it so it's kind of nice and even Steven. And then I come up through here and then I just kind of tie that down. And anyway, that's what you do on the front and back. And that thing's solid. And anyway, and anyway, that's how basically you tie the things down with the cam strap. So that's it from High Fives Up. Thanks.